Hey everybody, this is Shrum and you're watching Outdoor Gear Addiction. Today we're going over cast iron. This five part series should tell you everything you need to know about cast iron. So enjoy and subscribe. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos. Once you think you have it clean, just use a paper towel to dry it off. It's not going to hurt anything at all. Put it on the stove, on a room temperature stove, and turn your heat up to medium and let that skillet heat up slowly. It's going to evaporate and bake all that water off so you've got a, a really pretty grayish black iron that's left over. If it's still orange, you need to wash it some more. Once you get that pretty uh, gray, dry pan, then it's time to add oil. I'm a Crisco fan. It's very clean. Um, there's no sodium, no salt in it. And I think it's a very good product to use. It's not going to go rancid over time. I love bacon grease. I love lard. But if you season your skillets with, or your cookware with that stuff and you put it up till next Thanksgiving, it's probably going to have a little bit of a, a stench with it. So Crisco to me is, is a fairly cheap way and a very clean way to season your iron and put it up for as long as you need. Check on it once a year, but other than that, it's going to really do well in storage. Spray oils have silicone in them. I don't, I don't ever recommend someone to use spray oils on um, on their iron before they season it and everything. I would stick with Crisco. Some people say olive oil, but there's lots of research you all can do. And I hope after this, you all will say, well, I like that, but I'm gonna see if I can do this. And, and it gets you started and we're all gonna love some cast iron together. So that's great. All right, so once you get it on the stove and get it dry, you add your Crisco and you wipe it down really, really well. And just, just saturate the whole thing. Handle, bottom, everything. Treat it all as a cooking surface. Um, and let that stuff soak in. Kind of turn your heat down on your uh, on your stove top, and just let that oil soak in for three, four, five minutes. Um, now it's time to place it in your oven. I recommend um, when you're washing the item, go ahead and turn your, your oven on to 450. This is when you don't use paper towels. I've tried to wipe oil out of the cast iron skillet with paper towels about 112 times. I'm not sure why I did it so many times, but it just doesn't work. It leaves some some residue in there, some white little crusties. I recommend 100% cotton, t-shirt, cloth, dish towel, anything like that. It's not gonna fall apart on you. It's not gonna melt. If you've got synthetics mixed in with cotton, it's gonna melt. Uh, so let's just, you know, I always try to say use 100% cotton, t-shirt. I use white because I wanna make sure once I wipe that up, Crisco, which is clear anyway, once I wipe that in, if there's no color on my cloth, I know I did a good job cleaning that thing before I'm gonna start seasoning it. Always put your piece in there upside down and the reason for that is if you have it right side up and you have a little too much oil in there then it's going to be blotchy, kind of pull up in places and it's not going to uh, harden like the rest of your pan. I turn it in upside down, stick it in the oven for 15 minutes. Why, why 15 minutes? I actually pull it back out, set it back on the stove and, and I wipe, wipe it down with a clean cloth and put it back in there for an hour. An hour is a really good long time to get the smoke up, to harden that layer, and give you a really nice seasoning on your skillet. If it's your first time seasoning this particular skillet or, or cookware piece, um, you might want to do it again. If you have time, it's Saturday or what have you. A lot of times I'll, I'll let it cool off and I'll do it again. Okay, folks, I hope that helped. There's going to be four more videos for you to check out on everything you need to know about cast iron. I call this program How to Love Your Cast Iron and Have It Love You Back. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more weekly reviews of knives, RV camping gear, axes, hatchets, cast iron, heck, who knows what else. Check me out on Instagram at Outdoor Gear Addiction and on Twitter at Addiction Gear. Merry Christmas. God bless. Come back and see me.